Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. The offseason has been kind to Frank Gore as the 49ers have upgraded in talent across the team, but especially at the draft as they picked up Anthony Davis and Mikey Potty, the big left guard, out of Idaho. Not only are the 49ers ready to challenge the Cardinals to, for the division title, but at the same time, they have a very favorable schedule once again as they play in the NFC West, yet they also get the AFC West in their schedule this season. That gives Frank Gore the fourth easiest schedule against the run. And some people could say, well, you know, the schedule, strength of schedule, it doesn't really matter. Who knows what it's really going to be at the end of the year. Well, hey, if it's going to be the NFC West and the AFC West you're talking about, you're going to be able to run the football. So that does matter here. And I would rather have the fourth easiest schedule against the fourth hardest schedule. So look for Frank Gore to be set up to have a fabulous season. I do believe Mike Upati should make a big impact right away. Not only is he big and strong, but he can run the sweep very well. And remember, Frank Gore, probably his best season that he had as a pro was in 2006 when he was the, that was his first year as a starter. And he had a guy named, uh, oh, I don't know, um, Larry Allen at left guard that season. And he really blew things up. Uh, you know, also, you know, Larry was there in 2007 and Frank didn't have as good a season that year. But I would also say to you that, you know, the offensive passing game was atrocious that season. And that's not going to be the case this season. As Alex Smith now, with the offensive line upgrades, should have even more time to find his big target fantasy stud in Vernon Davis and find his high-rising youngster in Michael Crabtree and other players that could chip in like Josh Morgan. Maybe we'll even have a Ted Ginn sighting. So um, look for this team to have a good year. They'll be respectable in the passing game, and that's going to help Frank Gore out a lot. But what's going to help him out the most is an offensive line that has the opportunity to blow people off the football, especially against weak teams. And if you get Frank Gore through the hole, you know, get him into the secondary area, he'll bowl over linebackers and secondary players, and he'll take it to the house many times. So look for him to have a great season. He even put together 13 touchdowns total last season. I would expect him to get to at least that point this season. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football.